whole shark has gone through. Gonna need a tow truck. Hey. Well, it's just me solo today. Uh, heading out for well, probably a quick uh, overnighter. There's a forecast of some snow on the tops. I can see some already uh, above about nine, ten thousand feet on the very tops. Uh, heading to camp about an hour north of the city. Uh, looking to camp up at about 6,700 feet, about 2,000 meters. Uh, temperature is 41 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, freedom units. Whatever that is, three, uh, four or five. Uh, um, last night, uh, temperatures were apparently around uh, minus 18 Celsius. Looks like slightly warmer today uh, by a couple of degrees. So, current forecast is calling for zero F, which is about minus 17, minus 18, um, and possibly snow from late this evening. So, going to get up to camp, uh, formulate a plan of whether I'm going to stick the awning up. Uh, I'm not sure because there's potentially uh, some high winds coming in uh, from the northwest. So, we're going to crack on up this road and see what's what. So we're just coming into through this kind of transition zone where we're going from uh, the Joshua trees into pine and uh, juniper now. So basically coming into the uh, more uh, evergreen tree line. It's super pretty. Uh, try and get a view of the uh, mountain in front of me in a minute. It's covered in snow. Uh, no drone shots today because we're in a no-fly zone, unfortunately. So uh, no pretty aerial shots. I have to make do with uh, some stuff from the GoPro. Bit of snow. Don't look like anyone's driven across it. How long that's been there? Put of animal tracks, that's all. Yeah, no one's been up here. Thanks, some of the ground. Yeah, beautiful. No one's been uh, up here by the looks of it. No tire tracks apart from mine. It's cool. Snow on the peaks up here. Okay, it's a beautiful afternoon now. I think it's 37 degrees or something uh, Fahrenheit. Maybe three, four. It's above freezing, um, but it's going to chill down quickly once we lose the sun. Probably got uh, maybe an hour and a half, something of daylight. I need to decide what I'm going to do about camp. I'm going to look a bit further down uh, here, see if we can get tucked up in the trees a bit more, a bit less exposed. Um, let's go and check it out. Okay, so gonna set up camp here, relatively uh, relatively flat, some snow on the ground, just a couple of degrees above freezing, I expect it to drop, uh, but we're expecting winds to be coming in from the northwest, which is behind the vehicle here. So um, we're gonna face it this way and look at putting the awning up into the wind um, and decide whether I'm gonna set up the stove or have a fire, there's a fire pit here, a uh, rock ring. Um, Beautiful, no one's been up here. I just did a recon of the perimeter. There's nobody about at all. Um, no tire tracks in the snow. So no one's been up since it snowed last. Just got a message out on the inReach so people know where I am. And uh, I'm gonna quickly look at 
Frank Kempup. Let's do that. I'm going to have a look at zipping the walls on, see if we can stick those out. Try and make a bit of a full thing here. Come on. Just hold on the pans for that. There we go. You have one extra hand. Nice. Okay. Let's get these guys out. We'll be in business. Stove is up. Added some of this uh, heat insulation up here. Check the running, got it out. Not sure if I can fit this other wall on the end of here. Beautiful sunset. Too bad. Okay. This came. Well, zero degrees C now, thirty two Fahrenheit. Uh, now the sun's gone down. Got the last, last rays of light over there disappearing. I've got the tent up with the uh, awning walls all deployed. I've staked them down because there was a forecast for 25 mile an hour wind gusting 30 35 coming from the northwest, which is over that way uh, somewhere. And got the stove and attached the uh, fireproof material to it because it's pretty close to the awning here so we'll see how that gets on we're making a bit of smoke out the top it's probably not coming out on this screen but there's some smoke coming out I need to clean the side of the stove because it's all uh mashed up but yeah it's that so just got that lit Give that a while to get all the metal heated up and start radiating and then maybe uh, warm some food up on it too. It's way warmer under here already than it is out there. Uh, I'm just going to go investigate if I can attach another uh, side wall onto this thing. Uh, see how we do with that. So let's... Uh, Check out the temperature. It's um, forecast to be about minus nine, uh, minus ten. The, th the thermometer was saying uh, about minus ten early on. It's probably a bit below that. But if we can, if we can't quite see this. Not really. But um, just recheck the forecast, and the. Downside now is forecast winds for early hours of the morning or coming into uh, sunrise, in fact, of 30 miles an hour gusting 40, which isn't ideal, with maybe two inches of snow just before them. So the snow is OK. Wind is a bit of a concern because uh, I've got the big awning out, but I've tied it all down. So we'll see what happens, I guess. I'm not taking it down tonight, so I'll leave it up. Um, I have condensed the area that I'm sitting in of this wall behind me, uh, which I borrowed from the other end. So now I've got a nice little uh, triangular room here. 
my chair and the stove is going. Uh, I've got some water on the boil here, which will be coming up to the boil. I'm going to be making some pasta shortly. And uh, see, uh, see how we get on. Snow's forecast for maybe starting at 10 p.m., so I'll see if that arrives. Okay. So that's pasta going to go in. Look how long that's been in there. Oh, that's been in the fridge in the back of the car. Since the uh, I'm stuck in there. There we go. Since the road trip, uh, can't see me, but since the road trip in uh, December, I think. So yeah, I'm sure we're fine. Let's give it a couple of minutes and then add some sauce. Fire's looking nice. in the morning and as forecast it's just started snowing it's uh when i checked the temperature outside half an hour ago it was still about minus 10 minus 12 so it's dropping down to about minus 20 minus 18 according to the latest forecast i stuck the thermometer up in here don't think i can really see it but when you're up close it's about five to seven degrees under the uh under the awning centigrade so that's pretty cool Got the fire going on very low still, and yeah, it's uh, let me say it's just started snowing. Forecasting about an inch over the next three hours, uh, but then winds kicking up over the next hour or so, peaking between six and nine a.m. at maybe 20 30 miles an hour, gusting high 30s, 40. So that's going to kind of suck. Um, I'm gonna have to leave the awning up though, I think. I can't really pack away all the walls and all that kind of stuff in the snow and with these, the stove still attached to it. So I think um, finish watching uh, my episode of MasterChef. I'll wait for the fire to die down. I'll probably disconnect part of this chimney uh, and then crawl up into the tent. Uh, depending on how warm it is, may even flip on the uh, electric blanket, which would be nice. Uh, but for the next half an hour, I'm gonna sit and enjoy the Sound of the snow hitting the top of the canopy. Well, the snow's coming down heavier now, making a pretty cool sound on the uh, side of the awning. Um, I did manage to burn a big hole in my coat though. I wondered what the funny sticky substance was on the uh, chimney and the smell of burning. Uh, hunted around for a couple of minutes and couldn't find it and then I realized all the stuffing was coming out of my big puffy down jacket so just done a quick uh, quick pro repair with some gaffer tape earlier on and it's better than new now so uh, that'll be fine check it again in a year's time uh, other than that fires burning down then we go to belly buys Maybe I just set the camera up for a couple of minutes so we can hear the snow and the fire. Well, it's nearly 4 a.m. That uh, wind has uh, arrived now. The forecast has been pretty accurate almost to the minute uh, through the night. Wind gusts earlier, snow started, snow's been coming down harder, and now the wind's really arrived. Good news is the uh, peaks of the wind have dropped to forecast at only, I think, 36 or 38 miles an hour now. Um, so hopefully everything's picked down. The downside is that I faced everything northwest 
into the uh, uh, into the wind. Everything was supposed to be northwest and north northwest, but everything so far has been coming in kind of directly to the east and swirling around, which is a bit of a concern. Uh, it does feel like it's moving around now, though, to the other side. I'm just going to do a quick snow patrol, run around and see if we can see what's what, and check out. Make sure we're not uh, soaking down anywhere. holding up fine so far. Can't see my can't see my uh, footprints from earlier. Particularly. Oh yeah, there's some. But they're covered again now. A satellite dish. I need to clean that off. No snow settling on the side. Just check the top of the tent and then go tuck into Betty Byes and uh, fire up that blanket and get a couple of hours sleep. Uh, and look forward to these uh, peak winds that are coming. Uh, in a couple of hours time. It's kind of turning into a little bit of a semi-blizzard at the moment though. It's freezing rain slash snow. If we wipe this off a little bit, we'll probably turn the, probably turn the snow melt function on the uh, internet Starlink. Not sure how much power that uses, but we can give it a go. Right, let's go and tuck into the tent. Right, bedtime. Just climbed into the tent, taken off, uh, taken off all my uh, outerwear clothes, trousers and stuff, and uh, changed into uh, fresh warm socks that I had uh, tucked inside my jacket pocket. Uh, socks weren't wet or damp or anything, but good practice to uh, make sure you have nice toasty warm feet, no sweat, no uh, damp or anything. The other one's wearing out up there with my gloves. Um, that's it really, I've got my satellite transponder, my car keys and my knife up here and my light hangs up there. Um, got the electric blanket plugged in, which I can already feel through my, uh, through my leg on the sleeping bag. It's set to the lowest possible setting and it's absolutely boiling. Uh, temperature just checked was lost the thermometer it was about 15 degrees in here 15 degrees C uh, so very pleasant temperature compared to negative uh, 15 or whatever it is outside right now uh, we're coming up to the peak of that forecast negative 19 C uh, but yeah super toasty up here I've got my minus 30 minus 40 whatever it is uh, oh no this one's not this one's negative 18 sleeping bag and electric blanket and uh, I've got actually another sleeping bag here if I need it and a wall blanket. I'm definitely not going to be cold. It's currently toasty. The door's not even closed yet. Still got the looking out into the uh, storm out here. So going to be just happy. Uh, let's see what these crazy winds end up being. I ended up removing that wall that was behind me, keeping the heat in by the fire. Um, just because it started whipping through. The wind did change around to that other side within 15 minutes or so. So it is going to whip right through there. I didn't want that bouncing around. I also decided to leave the chimney up because it's still quite hot on the stove. Um, so I didn't want to be removing that and messing around with it and potentially pumping smoke right towards the tent as that last log dies down. Uh, it's safe. It's got a spark arrestor on it. Everything's covered in snow anyway. Nothing's going to go on fire. Um, but I tied it up to one of the uh, main awning supports that uh, ties back to the vehicle. So hopefully that's not going anywhere. Right, get a bit of sleep and see what this craziness brings through the night. Nighty night. It's a beautiful day. I've been waiting for the wind to die down. Early this morning between about 6 and 9 it was crazy, about 60 miles an hour. Uh, but everything is good, the sun's out, it's a bit calmer now. I'm going to pull down the camp. The uh, Warning and stove and everything has survived, no problem. All the guys are still in place. So nothing fell down through the night. That's pretty cool. You can see. It looks good. So, time to get packed up. 
head down the mountain. This trip has gone well. I'm just back on the pavement. A couple of miles back, car was started veering violently to the right. Got out to investigate, and it looks like I've snapped the entire top of the um, bucket where the shock and spring effectively joined to the frame. Um, the car on its right side, the entire weight is being supported by the uh, bump stop at the moment so that's fun so gonna need a tow truck because it's not really safe to drive like that and bump stops kind of taking all the weight right now so it was drivable to limp it off that road um, but yeah that's not great this uh, top of the strut tower the uh, coil bucket part of the frame is completely snapped upwards here and the whole shock has gone through snapped at the snapped at the collar the top hat here and the top of the icon shock which may have failed first and then launched the strut upwards it's done some damage to the shock damaged the hose slightly it's gone through the rubber down to the braid on the reservoir hoses can be rebuilt but that's a major problem and we've got a snapped hind joint here the upper control arm probably just because the angle this has been pushed up at it's now it's now is in contact with everything not great so this is Sumo Spring from Super Springs International. Uh, so these are rated at, I can't remember, 1400 pounds or something. 50% um, compression, I think. So normally there's a few inches of clearance. This is completely compressed down and is supporting the entire weight of the uh, lower control arm at the moment. And that's how uh, the whole side of the car didn't collapse so that, I was lucky that I have those join us next time as we come up with a plan to rescue the forerunner